So brachytherapy is another way of delivering radiotherapy. So, it is, so brachytherapy means short distance, so it's radiation provided internally. There's two different ways that we do that. One is with permanent seed brachytherapy, or it's called LDR, low dose rate. Those are little seeds that go into the prostate and stay there the rest of your life. HDR brachytherapy or temporary brachytherapy uh, is when catheters are inserted inside of the prostate. A little radioactive seed, which is the end of a wire on a robot, is put in in different areas in the prostate. So it's actually only inside of the gland for about 10 or 15 minutes. Provides all that radiation in that short period of time, but then it doesn't stay inside. But they're both ways of giving internal radiation, uh, uh, which so that will decrease the risk of exposure to the rectum, again, which is behind the prostate and the bladder, which is in front of it those seeds only give radiation around the seed. So you give a very high dose of radiation internally, but very little gets outside. So it's great for those cancers that are localized to the gland, because you can get a lots of radiation into the gland itself, very little elsewhere, so the side effects are less. Uh, whereas external radiation, the advantage of it in those cases that have higher grade disease or disease you think is maybe outside of the gland, it bathes the entire prostate with radiation but also gives an area of, of, of a rim or insurance policy around the gland so that gets a high dose just in case a little bit of that cancer had creeped outside of the gland itself. So brachytherapy is very good for internal radiation. It only provides radiation around that area whereas external radiation, because of the fact that it's going through things, in fact will give a rim of radiation around the prostate and that's why some men are good for brachytherapy, internal radiation, some men are better off treated with external beam. Brachytherapy really is for men that have disease that is, is very likely to be just localized to the prostate gland itself. So in, in, in a clinical sense, it's men that have either low risk prostate cancer, so low grade, low PSA, you can't feel on your finger, or men with intermediate grade cancers that you think that mostly this is in the gland. Th th that's a big gray zone, and that's why kind of discussing things with the radiation college is important, because for some men, even in that intermediate risk, they're probably better off served with uh, either a combination of the temporary, or the HDR brachytherapy, and a little bit external beam, or just the HDR brachytherapy. Uh, but brachytherapy, in essence, is for people that you really think have localized disease, so it tends to be men with lower grade tumors with lower PSAs. So low-dose seed implant brachytherapy is really uh, specifically for men that, that have a very low chance of having disease outside the prostate. Uh, so any man that have any other high-risk features that has a higher risk of disease that's pushed outside the capsule of the gland, the LDR, the, t the permanent seed brachytherapy is not right for them. The other people that, that it's, it's not right for is if men have a really big prostate. If men have a big prostate or they have really poor urinary function, they're getting up lots of times to pee at night or they pee a lot during the day, have really slow flow, those men we do not offer the LDR or the temporary or the permanent seed brachytherapy and that's because uh, the prostate swells when you put those seeds in it and those guys are miserable. Your prostate, those guys swell, they pee, they slow down their water even more and then they have a high risk of being catheterized, having to have to a catheter which would stay in for several months. So it really is both a uh, medical or a biological thing if you think it's localized but also a physical thing or a patient factor. If the prostate's too big or their urination is not good they're probably better served with external radiation not brachytherapy. Those men that are most likely to benefit from being uh, treated using a high dose rate or a temporary brachytherapy are guys that, that you think have a bit more disease there uh, than low risk patients uh, or men that have a small risk of disease pushing outside of the gland. At Sunnybrook, for example, with those men we use a combination of the HDR brachytherapy, the temporary brachytherapy, which is a very good dose to the prostate in a short period of time which has some biological advantages and that's coupled with three weeks of external radiation. So that gives us that insurance policy around the gland. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It allows us to give the majority of the radiation by the HDR or the temporary brachytherapy but also takes care of that small risk that some of that disease may have microscopically pushed out of the gland, so some of the external beam radiation therapy takes care of that part. So that's the standard of care, at least at our center, and it's becoming adopted uh, uh, elsewhere in Canada because it's a very good way to treat disease, high dose, less side effects than doing it all by external beam radiation. So both types of brachytherapy, whether it's permanent seed, LDR, or temporary seed, HDR, those men uh, need to be able to go undergo a general anesthetic because we do put them to sleep, at least at our center. Uh, in regards to HDR brachytherapy, those men are put to sleep. 
catheters are inserted inside of their prostate using an ultrasound to guide. We do planning right there so uh, scans are done to determine where the seed should be. Uh, we have computing to enable to get us a plan very quickly and then that seed has little stations along the area uh, that, that like dwell time so it'll stay in a certain area for a certain amount of time to ensure that the prostate gets a uniform dose, roughly the same dose entire the whole gland with a little bit of sparing of some of the areas that you want to make sure that you don't have side effects. So men are usually sleep for about an hour uh, they wake up, uh, they go off into our, our recovery room, make sure that they can pee, then they go home. So it's really a half day procedure. Uh, very similar to our LDR or, or our uh, permanent seed brachytherapy. Again, those men are put to sleep. Although the week before they've had a scan done so that we know where to put the seeds. Uh, we order the seeds and they're kind of made in a certain configuration and then the seeds are inserted. So it's roughly the same procedure. One is just the seeds stay permanently in them for the rest of their life. The other one with the HDR is that is, that is just a temporary that seed is inserted just for that small period of time and then they walk home with nothing inside of them. So the most common side effects of brachytherapy are because the prostate does swell up a little bit, both because there's been lots of needles put into it, but also because the radiation is active and it's actually causing a bit of inflammation, is men will have a feeling of, of heaviness down there. We call that prostatitis. So they can feel like someone kicked them in the crotch uh, for a few weeks or a few months. Not painful, but they can feel it. Uh, men will, some men will also slow down their water, need to take medications to do that. And that there's that very small risk that they'll obstruct their urine and need to have a catheter put in. That's probably the important reason why we really screen men to see who are good candidates or are not good candidates for that procedure. Uh, because having a catheter put in for several months, those guys aren't happy. So if we can predict those men beforehand are going to have the problem, we usually don't offer them to have the brachytherapy. Or we use different hormonal manipulations to shrink their gland down before the, the brachytherapy is done.